Hello everyone on this Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Kevin Smith with the latest on what is happening with tropical storm Barry. Let's get to what's happening with our wind still holding in at 45 miles per hour. It's moving to the north northwest at eight miles per hour, about 45 miles to the west southwest of Alexandria. And we're expecting this storm to really be shredded apart by the dry air. We talked about this yesterday and the day before that, and you see all of the black still infiltrating off toward the northern section of the state, which means that this storm is continuing to weaken as it is moving across land at a good pace. Meanwhile, the millibar pressure has increased uh, to around 1,004 millibars, and that will continue to start to rise as it's moving off toward the northwest. You see later this morning already approaching the Shreveport area, and then it will make its way into Arkansas as well as to Missouri at least dumping some moderate to heavy rainfall. Speaking of that right now across the Baton Rouge Metro, we're receiving uh, that light to moderate rainfall. And folks up towards St. Francisville, you have a little bit of a, a significant heavy cell that's moving your way. But of course, we can handle this off toward the south and west. We have more activity that's currently into the Gulf, even some lightning strikes that are breaking out with that. But as the storm system moves out, most of those heavy bands will start to migrate into the area. That's why we're still going to keep that flash flood watch in effect until 7 p.m. Still expecting some rainfall totals up there. And I want to tell everyone living along the Comey and the Amy Rivers, let's take a look at the Amy River there at Denham Springs and still the river forecast are on the way down. That's some good news, but you still see they're at the cusp of moderate to major at 39 feet. And I still suspect that those river forecasts along the Amy Comey, Tickfall, and Tangipahoa River basins will start to come down because the rainfall totals are actually coming down as well. Speaking of that, the latest GFS model is still indicating for Baton Rouge at around 1.54 inches of rainfall. Now that would be for today, and we'll start to see new roads at 1.83 for rainfall around 1.25 would be the rainfall totals we're going to see here into Hammond 1.71 as we go back to the graphics would be up toward uh, Kenwood and looking at the latest um, forecast we saw yesterday we saw officially at the airport 1.37 at least at BTR and that's well below the five to uh, at least 15 inches that the models were indicating with the storm system so we're at 77 the wind is from the east southeast at 17 miles per hour and those uh, gusts have come down dramatically at least from the south and southeast here in baton rouge we're at 26 still from the south at least that gust of 35 miles per hour into Lafayette. Also want to give heads up on some uh, good news we have along Interstate 10 there at Washington. Take a look at the DOTD cam and the eastbound lanes of traffic are now open. We had a, a little bit of a jackknife of 18 wheeler that closed down the traffic earlier uh, this morning. Meanwhile, back to the graphics we go to the next 12 hours. Temperatures will be holding into the 70s to around the lower 80s later today. We're expecting those rain chances to still hover at around 80 to 90 percent. So if you're going to be traveling out today, once again, watch out for the trees that are down across the area and just be careful about that. Also take the umbrella. Meanwhile, we go with the latest on Barry once again moving off toward the uh, north northwest at eight miles per hour We're expecting this to continue to weaken into a tropical depression as we travel later into your Sunday morning. And I really just expect us just to see some moderate to brief heavy rainfall as we see on the Doppler uh, that will be moving across the area. Of course, we're keeping you updated on social media. You see there on BRProud.com, Facebook, Facebook Live and Twitter. So here's a synopsis of what we're going to be expecting this morning. Once again, more moderate to brief heavy rainfall across the area. I'm not expecting those uh, totals up to 15 to 20 inches. I think we're going to downgrade that to run at least to about five inches possible. But those of you still living along the Comey and Amy Rivers, keep your guard up because that flood warning is still in effect until 7 p.m. And I would uh, also say there will probably be some businesses opening it up today because you probably can do that because the significant storm threat is going away because this storm is continuing to weaken very rapidly as it moves out to the north northwest. And we all can thank that due to some dry air. So I think everyone, once again, just keep your guard up for that potential for flash flooding. Of course, we'll have more updates if they're warranted, but everyone keep it here. We'll always keep you updated.